we are gonna make a Carhartt style beanie. So a beanie with a little cuff on it and a little logo in the front. So if you love Carhartt style beanies, this video is for you because you are not going to be limited to just the colors that Carhartt is selling. You can make them yourself in so many different colors and fabrics. So you can make them to match all of your jackets and outfits. And I've got a pattern for you that you can download at SoeAnastasia.com and it mimics the style of the Carhartt beanie. And it looks pretty crazy, doesn't it? I know. So let's go over how to cut it out and sew it together. So once you print and tape together your pattern, it should look something like this, kind of like a sea creature. Now that you've got your paper pattern cut out, there is one thing that is really important to make sure you remember to do before you cut it out of fabric. You have to check the stretch of your fabric. You have to make sure that the stretch is going across the domes of the pattern, because if it's not, then it's not gonna stretch over your head. So make sure that your fabric is stretching across the domes of the pattern here, because this here is going to be the top of your head, and this here is going to be the bottom. So it needs to stretch the this way. So once you cut it out, it should look something like this in your fabric. So now we have a purple sea monster. And it stretches this way right across the domes. So now that we have it all cut out, we are ready to sew it together. But it is not as simple as you think it is at first, but it is really simple to do. So once you sew one of these, you're gonna understand it. You'll be able to make all kinds of them really fast. So follow along and watch all the details so that way your hat turns out beautifully. The first step is folding it right sides together along the long curved side here. And we're gonna be sewing from end to end, but we need to leave an opening so we can turn it right side out later. So I want to leave it towards the top but not towards the very top leave about two or three inches open imagine this right here is going to be the fold of your hat and this side here is the lining so we want to leave an opening in the lining section so make sure you don't leave an opening right here on this really straight edge and from end to end i mean sewing from here all the way down to here since we're sewing knitwear today, we're going to be using the lightning bolt stitch, which is a really small zigzag, kind of looks like a lightning bolt. If you don't have this stitch, you can also use a zigzag stitch, just use a really narrow one. I'm gonna be sewing with 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, so I'm lining up the edge of my foot with the edge of my fabric. Your alignment on your machine could be different. And don't forget to back stitch. When you get to your chalk mark, stop and backstitch, cut, and now we're gonna start at our other chalk mark. So we're gonna skip this opening here and start again. When you get to the very end, backstitch and cut. Now that you have it sewn up, it should look something like this. And your opening should be right here and it should look something like this. Next, we're gonna sew together this end over here. So if I open this up, you can see that we have this opening here. So we're going to be sewing here. Now, when you get down to this very end here, you need to make sure you're blending off as if you're creating a dart. We need the stitch to blend right off to the fold. We're also gonna do it to the other end over here. So you're going to be sewing together this little opening that we have here and blending off into the fold that's here. So we're going to sew both of these little ends shut. I'm gonna start at the tip and work all the way off the fold. Make sure you're back stitching at the beginning. Notice how I'm coming right off the edge of the fabric onto the fold that's here. Once I'm off right at the edge, I'm going to backstitch and cut. And now I'm gonna do the other side. And cut. So let's take a look here at what we just did. So you'll notice I started at the top, we got 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, and then I blend off to that fold. So it's really important that you're blending off that edge so you don't end up with any puckers on the other side. 
Now we just have one more dome part to sew together. Do you believe it? It really is that easy. If you're enjoying how to create a beanie so far, make sure you subscribe to Sew Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to finishing up our beanie. Now that we have both sides sewn together, we have this seam here in the middle. So what we wanna do is pick it up, open it up, and make sure both of these seams are lining up and then we're going to sew this moon shape here. And we're gonna do that to both sides. Now when you start this, you're gonna be starting at the fold here. So you wanna make sure you're starting at the very edge of the fabric. And the way to do this is to take your hand wheel and pull your needle down into the fabric, making sure that it is catching the very edge. Now do a couple stitches forward and then get your back stitch in. When you get to your seams, make sure they're flat open. So press them open here and press it with your fingers or with the iron and also make sure they're lined up. Your fabric looks like it's folding. When you get to the foot, just lift up your foot and push it flat. Now when we get to the other end here, we need to make sure that we're blending off into this fold here like we did before. stitch and cut and now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side here again we're starting on the fold back stitch and cut at the end so now your hat looks like this pretty funky right so before we turn it right side out through that little opening that we left we want to actually fold it and make at least one of these dome pieces meet. I usually like to take it and sew together this dome part here. And the reason we're going to do that is so that when you're wearing it, the two layers don't pop apart. So I am going to actually go back and just sew these two dome layers together. So we're gonna take the two sides and we're gonna place them together just like that, lining them up. And then we're gonna sew from end to end. Back stitch at the beginning. Also, I'm just using a straight stitch and I've lengthened my stitch length. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Now our hat looks something like this. Pretty crazy, right? It's a very bizarre 3D object. But now what we're gonna do is turn it right side out through that opening that you left. So we are just gonna keep pushing it until all the purple is on the outside. And remember, because we sewed half of it together, it's not all gonna turn out into that hot dog-like shape. It should end up looking like a hat. But we have that opening, right? So we need to close up that opening. So I want you to find that opening and you can slip stitch this by hand or just take the edges, fold them in, and then just do a little edge stitch. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be stitching at the very edge of this fold here, about an eighth of an inch way, making sure that I have both of these edges tucked under the same amount as my seam allowance, which was three eighths of an inch. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Your little closed up area should look something like this. Now it is almost like a little pin tuck, but that's okay because it's on the inside of the hat and nobody's ever going to see it. And you're not gonna feel it because it's up in the top of the hat. So there is our hat. We are going to flip it up and check it out. We have got a new winter beanie. The only thing we need to do is sew our tag on the outside. If you don't have a garment tag that you'd like to put on your hat, you could always put your favorite band patch on there, or you could hand embroider something, or you could have a patch custom made that you want to put on your hat, or no patch at all. Totally up to you. So let's sew the patch on and try on the hat. So I'm going to start at the corner of my patch. I'm going to do two little back stitches and work my way all the way around the patch. So we've got our patch nicely sewn onto the front here. When you flip up the brim, it's facing you. So we've got a taller 
cap on the top of this hat, making it a Carhartt style beanie. And we got that nice wide fold here at the bottom also, which is identifiable on that Carhartt style beanie. We did it, here it is. Bring on the cold weather, I am ready. And I think this is a great imitation of a Carhartt style beanie. It looks just like it, doesn't it? The answer is yes. I would love to see your beanies that you sew up, so make sure you tag me in them so that way I can repost them and share them with everyone else. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. Would love to know what you think of this style and what kind of fabric would you sew this beanie out of? I would love to know. Leave it down below in the comments. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you've known all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And if you're not already a subscriber on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and all those other social media websites, make sure you add Sewing Anastasia so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to see all of your projects you're working on, so make sure you tag me in them so that way I can reshare them with everyone else and keep everyone inspired and creative. And don't forget, I also teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois, and you can take those in person or virtually. So check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. And if you want this pattern, well, you know where it's at, SewingAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye.